Hey everybody, I'm Brendan72mo. I promised a gaming setup tour a couple of months ago when I hit 1,000 subscribers. There was only one problem. The room I was in looked awful. It was also incredibly tiny and it got really hot and it just wasn't what I had planned. And well, now I'm at 1,200 subs, so I'm a bit late with this. But after painting an empty room in my house, complete with a vainglorious blue accent wall, and getting some new furniture, I'm finally ready to show you my gaming setup. Ready? Here we go. So at the outset here, I know that my camera sucks. It's an entry-level DSLR that doesn't have very good video capabilities. My tripod also doesn't allow me to do very good panning shots. But hey, I'm not a vlogger, I have a gaming channel, so I don't need an expensive camera and tripod. I'll sprinkle in several still shots though so that you can see things better. Let's start with the gaming console wall. On the first row, we have the Xbox 360. and the PlayStation 3 plus the games and controllers for those consoles. Down on the second row, we have the PS4, and PS2 plus the games and controllers for those consoles. Those big black boxes hold extra cables, controllers, and well, just other stuff that I need to have near my desk. On the third row, there's my home network equipment, plus a Nintendo 64. The 64 isn't hooked up to a display right now because I need to get some extra cable extensions so that it can reach the inputs on the back of my TV. It does have power going to it though. In fact, only the PS4 and the Xbox 360 are fully connected right now, but I'll change that soon. Oh, and that little white box in the back? Well, that's the controller and the IR receiver for something we'll talk about later. And down on the fourth row, there's a Nintendo DS and a Mario Brothers Edition Wii. Plus, there's the granddaddy of them all, my original Nintendo. Now that's not something that I picked up secondhand or anything. I've owned that NES since it was brand new and it's still working fine to this day. The gaming console wall is also home to my Corvette shrine. I've loved Corvette since I was eight years old, so it's only natural that I have some space dedicated to vets. At the very top, there's a couple of Corvette Monopoly games that I received as gifts, plus a third, fourth, and fifth generation model Corvette, along with some smaller Corvettes. Down on the second row, there's a first generation and second generation vet, along with a 50th anniversary Corvette book. And then over to the right, there's two sixth generation vets and another 50th anniversary book. I don't yet have a seventh generation vet model, only because I haven't found the one that I want yet. Moving over to the desk, you can see my trusty Acer laptop. It's nothing too special, it's just a basic laptop that I use for everyday stuff. It will run GTA though, but just barely. Moving to the right, you can see my Nexus 7 tablet and my phone, as well as my 32-inch LG TV, my Xbox 360 controller wireless receiver for my PC, my Logitech webcam, and my mouse and keyboard. There's also a massive mouse pad to help keep the desk safe from scratches and provide a better surface for the mouse. The headset hanging from my mic stand is a HyperX Cloud 2. The mic stand is by Rode, the mic is a Blue Yeti, and the shock mount is from Blue Microphones as well, and then that pop filter is made by Dragon Pad. You might have noticed that I don't have a true gaming mouse and keyboard and well, that's just because I prefer to play with a controller. Moving on, there's my old monitor to the right that I use to keep an eye on things when I'm live streaming. I keep it turned off most of the time because it puts out a ton of heat and well, it just doesn't really have the best display. The thing is ancient. If you look closely, you'll see the live gamer portable that I use to capture gameplay from my PS4 and Xbox 360 to use in live streams and videos. And to wrap up the tour of the desk is an old but incredibly reliable Sony surround home theater receiver. It might be old, but it still does the job really well, putting out a ton of sound and with its subwoofer down on the floor, does a great job of getting the bass thumping. 
in. That brings us back to the PC itself, all housed in a beast of a case known as the Cooler Master Cosmos 2. This case is huge, and I'll probably go with something smaller when I build my next PC. When it's empty, it weighs 50 pounds, and I'm not sure what it weighs with all the parts in it. Its size does really make it easy to work in, though. The heart of my PC is an i7-3700K CPU overclocked to 4.2 GHz on an MSI motherboard with 16 GB of Corsair Vengeance DDR3 RAM with video coming from an EVGA GTX 980 Ti. There's also two Samsung Pro SSDs and four hard drives in there. It's all powered by a Corsair power supply. If you want to know the full details of my PC specs, hit the link in the description down below. Of course, the big piece of this entire setup that I've not yet mentioned is the LED lighting. I received two sets of fairly inexpensive LED light strips that were pretty simple to get hooked up. The adhesive on the back of each LED strip isn't really good, so I picked up some LED strip anchors off of Amazon to make sure those light strips stay in place. They make a huge impact on my gaming setup that my camera can't really pick up on. Of course, they look best when no other light is on, so let's turn off the lights and take a peek. Pretty cool, eh? And that's my current gaming setup. I have a lot more planned for this setup, so I'll be sure to post updates. I want to get some stuff on the walls pretty soon because, well, the walls in here are really bare. I want to spice things up with some cool gaming art, plus some other stuff for my Corvette Shrine and some Doctor Who inspired things. I also need to find a place to mount my rear surround speakers because movies and gaming just aren't the same without full surround sound. And I'm looking for a way to mount my dozens of Hot Wheel Corvettes to the wall above the consoles. Somewhere down the road, I want to upgrade the triple 4K monitors and upgrade the LED lighting to something that is fully programmable. I also want to get a small couch and a big ass TV for this room because I'm currently using only about a third of the space available in here. But that's all to come at a later date. Right now, I'm really happy with how my gaming setup turned out and I hope you've enjoyed checking it out with me. I have to give a huge shout out to the person who made this entire gaming setup possible. Many, many thanks to my mom for financing the paint and supplies as well as all the new furniture from Ikea and the rental van to make a 400 mile round trip to pick it all up. Love you mom. If you want any extra details on anything that you've seen in this video, just leave a comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button and get subscribed if you haven't already. I want to thank all of you for supporting my channel and helping it continue to grow. I can't wait until I'm able to do my next subscriber special when my channel hits 2,500 subs. Until then, I'm Brandon72Mo, and I'll see you in the next video.